Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nigel and this is Off-Grid Van Life where we look at van conversions, off-grid power, lithium-ion phosphate batteries and everything in between. Basically, we want to help you to be able to build out a, an amazing van, hit the road, find adventure and most importantly to have a really good electrical system to be able to power your van so that you can run an induction cooktop or whatever it is, whether it's a, an espresso machine, we want you to be able to do that. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can connect to your DALI BMS using Bluetooth. So this is our OPS 280 battery that we've built out and it has a DALI BMS inside with the Bluetooth dongle inside the case. And if you are like me, so when I put a, a, a new lithium ion phosphate battery into my van, I didn't wire in an on switch somewhere that was easily accessible to be able to turn the Bluetooth on the BMS on, mainly just because it was a lot of work to do that and I didn't feel it was necessary. And that's kind of the approach that we've taken with this Ops 280 where there is an on switch on the Bluetooth dongle, but realistically, once you've actually installed it in your van, uh, the likelihood of you actually accessing that battery very often is very slim. Uh, that's just based on my experience. Um, and so the idea was that even though you might need to uh, have access to turn the Bluetooth on uh, when you are looking to install it or when you just get the battery and you're trying to set it up and things like that. Um, what what, I, what we figured was that once it's actually installed and you've got through that process, you're never going to need to access that again. So just keep it sealed in, a, in the case so that it's out of the way. Now I'm going to show you in this video how you can actually get the Bluetooth to turn on because if, in case you didn't know that, <coughs> the DALI BMS, uh, it turns the Bluetooth uh, transmitting signal off in order to conserve power. So uh, if, if it's been inactive for a certain length of time, it'll turn the Bluetooth side of it off so that it doesn't waste power. But rest assured, the BMS itself is still working and doing what it's supposed to do so that it keeps the battery balanced and protects the cells and all those sort of things. So I'm going to jump in here and show you how you can connect it. Uh, so I'm going to come right around so that you can see. Um, I'm going to find my camper thing there. So this icon here, that middle one, it says Smart BMS with the green little circle emblem thing. That is the app that you want to connect to. So when you tap it there, it should come up with your battery number uh, in that list there. So there's no need to connect uh, to the Bluetooth in your settings on your phone to try and pair with a device or anything like that. Literally, it's just a case of you open the app and it should have your battery name there. If the battery name is not there, it means that the Bluetooth has uh, gone to sleep and you need to wake it up. And the easiest way that I've found to do that, if you can't access the on switch on the BMS Bluetooth dongle, is just to actually connect a charger to the battery. So make sure you get your polarity right, connect the charger to it. As long as it hits 20 amps of charge, the Bluetooth will turn itself back on. And then it's just a case of you tap that, it starts connecting, takes a little while, a few seconds just to uh, synchronize and do what it needs to do. And there we go. It'll just initialize and check all of the settings and all that sort of stuff you'll see there. So already it's gone up to 100% or 99% state of charge, it tells you the voltage, gives you all this information, your delta, all the stuff that you'd expect to see. You can see your settings and your parameters, etc. And that's that. That's the app that you want to connect to. And again, <clears throat> just to reiterate, you don't need to be pairing your device with the Bluetooth with the Bluetooth on here or anything like that. It's just literally a case of open the app. You should see the battery number in there. If you don't, connect a charger onto the terminals, charge it at 20, 20 amps or more, not 20 volts, that'll fry the battery, 20 amps or more and it'll turn the Bluetooth back on and you can connect it. And that is the easiest way of getting the Bluetooth to turn on if you can't access the actual on switch on the Bluetooth dongle. So you'll find sometimes uh, when you install it into your van, when it's in the locker or wherever the case is under the bed or whatever, um, you may not want to get out your van and go around to the back and dig around and put your hand through and find a little button to turn the Bluetooth back on. Easiest way is to get a charge into the battery, start your engine, your solar's on. I mean, I pretty much never have a problem once it's installed in my van, never had a problem with connecting to it because I have solar running all the time. I know that if I just start the engine, the Bluetooth wakes up, all that sort of stuff. So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.